Thanks for watching this tutorial on audio editing softwares. Give my quick review of three different softwares that I've been playing with. Audacity, the other is Reaper, and the third one is Pro Tools First. The first one I want to look at is Audacity. It's an open source, completely free software for audio editing. We see it's very rudimentary, which is in a sense a good thing if, if you're really just trying to do some simple edits. Go to File, Import Audio. This is audio from my podcast. So I'm going to take both my mic and the other person's mic and I'm going to open them up. So I'm going to click OK and just say read from the original file. Let's go ahead and play through this. So the, the television studio was new and the professors didn't want to hang around late on campus. So they basically just gave us a key to the studio. OK, so that you saw the audio meter going and you saw the playhead moving. Um, if I zoom in, just by hitting plus or minus, minus to zoom out, plus to zoom in, so this tool right up here, it looks like an eye, and I can highlight sections. If there's someone that's using a lot of ums, I can go in there and hack away at those pauses, those long, awkward pauses or the hums. What I have to do, though, is I have to make sure that I'm highlighting over top of both tracks. Otherwise, if I just delete one track, it's going to create a lot of sync problems for me. If we wanted to change the volume of the track, we could use this tool and just create different points along it and make the waveform bigger by increasing the volume or make it smaller by flattening the, the waveform. So if there's portions that were recorded higher versus lower, that's how we would be doing our mixes on the track. That's one way to do it. So that's a quick introduction to Audacity. What I want to move to next is a software called Pro Tools First. Check out waitwhatpro.com, which is my website that has a lot of other links to other work that I've done, including a podcast called Media on the Radio, which is a great conversation that I have with media professionals and how they broke into the media field. 